From a sleepy fishing village to the richest and densest place on the planet. Today we use Macau's old postcards to see how much the city has changed and uncover the secret side to Macau's history. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Now today I'm in the spooky haunted realm of an area of Macau. This alleyway is super spooky and holds magical powers. And you might be asking, why am I here? Well, I am feeling a little bit lonely today and I've got an awesome vlog idea, but I don't want to do it myself. So I'm going to acquire all the magic that is in this magical alleyway and summon myself a co-host for today. Can I summon someone else? I didn't mean to summon you, dude. Uh, maybe someone a bit more like, you know, like cool or awesome. Justin. You know why I've summoned you here today from the dark realm? Actually, I don't know why. You do, I told you before, remember, up at the office. Oh, so the reason why I've summoned you from the dark realm, yes. <laughs> the reason why I've summoned you from the dark realm, Justin, is because today we're going on a very special mission. We're gonna travel back in time. I spat on you a little yeah. bit. Sorry. Within a hundred years, Macau has changed from a sleepy fishing village to one of the richest places in the world. And I came across some really old postcards of Macau showing what it was like before it changed into this metropolis of epicness. We're gonna go back in time, go to those places we see on the postcard and see what it was like before and after Macau went from sleeping fishing village to richest place in the world. And let's go to our first place, which rhymes with Schlordergate. Can you guess what it is? It's in Bordergate. That's right, <laughs> let's go. Portuguese built the gate in 1849. This area was also the site of a battle between Portugal and the Qing Dynasty. The Portuguese won, extending Macau's border to where this gate stands now. Interestingly, although this is the official border used, the precise limits of Macau's border were never formally given. This has been our first area of Macau, totally different, and I'd be really interested to know what the different view they saw coming through this border gate, because obviously now it's all like skyscrapers and flat buildings, but yeah. I wonder back then, coming through the border gate, how different the in front of them would have been as well. Currently walking through the densest place in the world, which you can tell by just the giant wall of buildings. This area of Macau is always very impactful just because it's so yeah. dense. And I always seem to find new roads to walk along and every time you do, you're kind of hit with one of these impactful views of just mass amounts of population. After a short walk through the streets of Phi Chi K, we had made it to our next location, Green Island. Guys, we, we are, are here now in the Red <laughs> Island, and we don't know so much. I'm so sad. Oh, what do you say? So guys, and then guys, just continue watching these videos because this is really <laughs> amazing video. The content uh -huh. is really, really good. Oh, thank you so much, Justin. So yeah. Okay, guys. that's the end of the talking scene for this uh, scenario. <laughs> But this is actually a first time for me. I've never been in Green Island before. But this used to be a separate island itself. And you would never know now today, it's filled with buildings and just connected to near the Red Market area. So very cool. And this is the first time for me exploring. So I'm excited and I'm honored to do it with you, Justin. I'm not. It's my pleasure. We began our hike to the center of Green Island. Here in this 54.5 meter tall hill was where the military barracks once stood. The island was first connected to Macau in 1895. It's windy! Oh my god! So guys, bit of an issue. So we walked up and it looks like the path is just gonna take us back down. But we're not done exploring this hill yet. So we're going off-road. We're gonna go off the path. And let's see, we'll go off-road, see if we can get a nice view from here. Already, just here is a gorgeous view, but I think if we can get over onto the other side, there's gonna be a really nice view. Macau side is over there, China is over there, 
Let's try get a view of Macau side so we can show you how it's merged together. It's so windy! Justin, how do you feel about going off path? Um, I'm not sure about this because I think it's so scary. eerily alone, which is a very rare feeling to have in Macau. The atmosphere up here is really creepy. Yeah. You feel like you're far away from the city right now, which is a very... I've never felt this way in Macau. It's a very eerie place, very alone. This place is full of hidden gems. I've never been here before. This is crazy. So guys, that is all we're going to explore for Green Island. Doesn't seem the paths lead to anywhere else, but got a really nice view of Macau and saw some cool ruins. This area is ridiculously cool. So we're going to head over to the docks of Phi TK and show you a shot looking into Green Island. Right now we're here on the hill, so we're going to go over there and take a shot of it just looking at the hill, which is where the postcard that we're going to be replicating, that's the angle it's got. So we're going to be heading out of Green Island now. So guys, we're here at your favorite place. It's not actually your favorite place. Well, maybe it is, if you've been, but that's actually just the name of the place. Your favorite place. Good name. So Justin, let's finish up our food and then continue traveling back in time at Macau side. Behind us is Red Market. It's really changed. I think it's super different. It seems like before it was just a very quiet market way out on the countryside almost. As you can see from passing us right now, this place is very busy. It's a very busy crossing in Macau. It's become like a hub for local Macau area. Kind of crazy how much it's changed, but this whole area seems to have really changed. So we're gonna head up to Free Lamps and show you guys how that area has changed as well, which is sort of the food market area of Macau. took a quick toilet break in perhaps the most sketchy toilet I have ever seen in my life. Thanks to me. So guys, just a quick pause to the adventure because unfortunately Justin has to return to the shadow realm now. What? Yeah. No, 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 no. Bye-bye. All right guys, so, so sad to leave Justin, but he had to go. But we're gonna continue on and keep going down the past of Macau. Apparently this whole street used to be filled with opium dens. So we're gonna be walking up the street and heading to Senado Square because this place has really changed over time. So let's show you now. the old postcards it's actually amazing to see how much of the buildings still remain here but the overall places around it is the big thing that's changed it's quite cool to see in the old photos that actually horses used to go around these streets and rickshaws and now only really people or cars are allowed here. The building that you can see in the photo, you can't really see it now because it's overgrown, was an old Portuguese post office, but now it's been turned into a library. However, it's been really well maintained and it's a very cool little building. All right guys, so it is starting to rain, so we're gonna call it there. But what a cool day, going back in time in Macau, seeing how much it's changed, but also seeing how similar it is. 
It's amazing. I walk past these buildings every day and I had no idea how much history they've witnessed and how much the environment around them has changed. But yeah, it's a shame for the weather, but happy to have had a really cool adventure looking back in time. And it's a really fun way of doing it. And it makes you appreciate the historic sites a lot more around Macau. There's a lot more postcards that I found. So if you guys are interested on in seeing a part two, make sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments below. I'd love to do a part two. Macau has went through rapid change and I wonder what it'll be like in another hundred years. <laughs>